Two Liberation War heroines were laid to rest at the National Heroes Acre on Wednesday. Former guerrilla trainer Vivian Mwashita and South African-born Victoria Chitepo. Zimbabwe President Robert Mugabe paid tribute to Chitepo, who was one of the three female ministers in Zimbabwe's first government. There is the example of my Chitepo. Very humble. She was not born here. We brought her from Zululand. Paying tribute to the 60,000 men and women who died during the liberation struggle, President Mugabe said Zimbabwe has suffered great loss. The brutal actions of the enemy are there is no country that was bombed like ours. And when the fighters moved to Zambia and Mozambique, Ian Smith bombed us there. There was no part of his body that was not bloody. He had the bloodiest hands of all. Ian Smith. Victoria Chitepo helped set up the ZANU Liberation Office in Tanzania. With her husband as leader of ZANU, she was destined to be the post-independent Zimbabwe's first lady. But as a result of the car bomb assassination of Herbert Chitepo in Zambia 1975, this was not to be. Mrs. Chitepo remained skeptical of the official version that her husband was killed by Ian Smith's agent. She believed her husband's killers were among those she sat with in the Politburo and that Herbert Chitepo was possibly the victim of an internal power struggle. The truth has eluded her even to her grave. Shingai Nyoka, SABC News, Harare, Zimbabwe.